Hi, um, I'm gonna show um, how to print the four plate scatter etching. They are originally done by uh, offset tra transfer method. Uh, I created the key line plate on black plate, and then I offset transferred those that plate to uh, three more plates, which was um, yellow plate. And uh, magenta plate <clears throat> and cyan plate and this is a black plate developed with all of these are developed after um, offset transfer from key plate. I gonna uh, it's been already already um, developed with aquatin method and. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take these sharpies and stop out off before printing. All right, uh, four plates are being cleaned, and uh, I'm gonna start to ink those four plates. So, uh, Four plates, all of these plates has to be inked before uh, printing. And uh, you're gonna uh, print yellow first, magenta second, cyan third, and um, uh, black last. But uh, it's ideally uh, print, uh, inking three plates, magenta, cyan or blue and black before you ink the yellow. Yellow is most tricky one because yellow um, ink is actually um, uh, has a some chemical reaction between copper plate and the yellow ink. Um, the yellow ink become a little bit oxidized and become a little bit greenish. So uh, it's recommended to be inked right before um, printing is started. Okay, so I'm gonna ink yellow last. So I'm gonna ink magenta, blue, cyan, and uh, black. And uh, each ink is being already mixed with an easy wipe compound. This is an easy wipe that's added to less make ink, ink to be less tacky, less sticky, so I can easily wipe uh, three plates. So I'm gonna start with um, magenta plate. If I warm up each plate with a hot plate, that makes it a little bit easier for spreading the ink. But uh, for this video documentation, I'm just inking each plate without warming up. And of course, tartan cross has to be for each color. Don't ever mix those tartans between plates. And try to take plate tone as much as possible for the first proof print because you want to see what's exactly going on by your aquatent. So you don't want to leave too much plate tone that maybe become, makes it difficult to analyze what's going on with aquatent. And also, uh, Imagine three, uh, four plates should be printed on one sheet of paper. So, uh, become a little bit obscured if there are a lot of plate tone.
your newsprint also has to be different sheet of newsprint for each plate. Take that ink off from the edges too. So magenta plate. Now I'm cleaning my gloves with gamfo between prints because I'm changing the color of the ink so it makes sense to have less ink on the glove before start to ink next print. So blue tarlatan for blue plate. And tarlatan cloth is reusable multiple times. Don't throw tarlatan each time you use. Just put back to a communal bin. At the end of wiping, try to use a little bit cleaner surface of Taratan to wipe a little bit more of the plate on. I typically have to take my gloves off before touching the, before using the newsprint because a little bit sweat on my hand makes it easy for wiping with newsprint. Make sure you wipe the edges because the edges have those notches for uh, registration from the early time. So try to make those notches visible. For that purpose, it's good to wipe the edges too. So blue plate, cyan plate. And I'm gonna go move on to black plate.
make sure entire plate is being covered by cardboard spatula. So black plate. Okay. Finally, I'm going to ink the yellow plate, but I make sure I wash my glove again with gamso. And my yellow ink is a little tricky. It's not just a straight process yellow. I added a little bit of process magenta, tiny bit of um, process magenta to make the yellow to be yellow orange. Uh, so just by, by counting that uh, yellow become a little bit greenish after uh, being inked and being wiped. The oxidation process make that uh, yellow to be a little bit greenish. So uh, in order to uh, accommodate that greenish process. I'm adding a little bit of a, a magenta to make yellow orange instead of a, a pure yellow process yellow. So I'm adding this to the plate. Yellow Talatan. You may notice on the Talatan is not necessarily yellow, it looks like an olive green because already oxidation is happening. I'm switching to a little bit better cleaner taratan.
And I, you should be wiping relatively quickly on yellow plate because more take time, more oxidization happens. So it's good to be quick. In that sense, a little bit extra easy wipe compound added to that um, ink may help for wiping time. Or traditionally, Miracle Gel. Daniel Smith's Miracle Gel was added to that e instead of an easy, easy wipe compound. I personally like the Miracle Gel, but no longer available these days. It's almost greenish, but hopefully it's not that much green on the plate. And newsprint too has to be not yellow page because some ink on the yellow page may affect and contaminate the yellow ink. So yellow is more sticky one. Yellow is probably more difficult plate to wipe than magenta, blue, and black plate. Okay, so yellow plate is done, wiped. So yellow, magenta, and cyan, or blue, and black. Okay, okay so uh, I'm going to print with this template. Um, the template has the location of the plate and uh, you, if you see carefully, there's four notches along with uh, edges. So each edge has a little not, uh, notch, which I originally I used for registration method for offset transfer. And I'm going to use the same notch for printing registration. What's important is your blanket should be going around the roller, not over the frame. This one prevents some shift of the paper and shift of the frame. So make sure that blanket is rolling over the uh, or over the roller. And also you need another plate as pre-stretch plate. This is a blank plate you use. And a plate has to be the same size of the uh, printing plates. So I'm gonna get the paper. The paper has to be long enough to stay under the roller. Uh, so uh, typically, just a, uh, it's like a three times uh, wider than regular printing paper. Okay. And back of the. paper so in order to make the paper edge underneath of the roller so when you're lifting the plate that paper doesn't get shifted
and pre stretch play. Paper is wet and keep shrinking. So if you don't do a pre stretch, your registration between four plates may not be that accurate. So it's always good to pre stretch with a blank plate of the same size. Make sure one at end of the paper is still underneath of the roller before lifting. Yellow plate. And also I'm looking at notches to line up with the marks on the template. I'm putting the blanket so blanket and paper doesn't get wrinkled. My paper has a blue on the back side. Yellow is being printed. Now, magenta. Make sure that paper edge is underneath the roller. Now, magenta is overlaid on top of yellow. Blue plate. Each size, each plate is slightly different shape. So what you should be looking at is notches to line up because if you are just looking at the edge of the plate, you may not line up. Originally, you are marking those notches. So 
what you should be looking at at this point is notice, not rather than edge of the plate. Now this is blue is overlaid to a yellow magenta. It's exciting stage. Sometimes I like this stage more than um, where when black is added. So switching to black break. Another this is black. And another thing I have to mention is make sure you don't have that much ink on the back side of a plate. Otherwise, you may have to wipe each time. That's going to create another hustle. This time you can go until the entire paper comes off from the low line. Okay, so this is four plates all combined. Four plates being combined and looks good. Uh, it's a little bit dark in many places where I have to probably do some scraping, burnishing to make some air information to show up. Uh, especially when I see the back side, it's a little bit too dark. Uh, so I'm going to probably, again, to do the sun burnishing to make the aqua tint to be shallower. That means uh, you, are, you can make a little bit lighter uh, areas. And I may have to do some dry point. And if it doesn't work, I may have to go back with another layer of aqua tint. In that case, aqua tint has to be a little bit finer than a uh, previous layer of aqua tint. Otherwise, you may... Um, have some conflict between two layers of aquatin. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.